Seba is now about to fulfill a mitzvah say the Raisa of redeeming himself. Right? It's a tremendous, tremendous mitzvah. Now realize this a mitzvah say the right, this is no less than a bris milah. A circumcision is also meant to say the raisa. This is a mitzvah to say the raisa, no different than putting on filling or anything else. Baruch Ata Adonai Elokeinu, Melech Haolam, Asher Kedushanu, Bevetzitav, Betzivanu, Al Hidyon, Harechor. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Elokeinu, Melech Haolam, Shechianu, Bekivanu, 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 Lezman, Lezman Chazer. Chazer. Amen. Oh, one second, one second, one second. Now you give this to me. Now this is, you have just fulfilled the mitzvah. Now I'm going to give him a bracha. V'yikones zeh ha-bachor l'chaim l'toyro l'yira shemayim. V'yirotzon shebikashem shadichlas l'pidyon k'yikones l'toyro u'luchupo l'maisim toivim obey. Baruch ato ado ino yelohinu melech o'ilom b'yirei pri agafen. I think a pidyon haben has a big part in terms of realizing, you know, that you're much more than, than just a person and that you may think that you control everything, you know, in your life and what goes on around you and you try as best as you can, but it really makes you realize that, and especially having it later on in life. Um, really does make you realize that that's not the case. And what we're here for is really to serve Hashem and you know, to, to do His will here um, on, on earth. So first of all, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming. Uh, it means a lot, honestly. But I definitely mentioned maybe I should speak a little bit about my life story, where I came from. So originally I was born in Belarus. Uh, my family moved to Cleveland in 2000. I was about five years old. And I grew up traditional. You know, we went to day school, I had a bar mitzvah, we learned about Shabbos, about all the holidays, um, but I lived a pretty normal life. Through the Birthright program, I ended up in Israel for 10 days. I had an amazing experience. They showed you know, a lot of what the country had to offer, got a glimpse into kind of a bit of Judaism, and I was very interested to explore that further. And I decided that it would be worthwhile to pursue that and to come to Or Sameach and learn. So before coming to Or Sameach, I was learning by Rabbi Brog. Um, over in, in Wycliffe, Ohio, and I felt like, you know, for me it was so incredible to see, you know, how people were learning Torah and, you know, the appreciation and the deep understanding that they have for Judaism in general. And, you know, I have to give a big thank you to Rabbi Brog um, for really pushing me to come and really pushing me to gain the fundamentals that I was missing back home in Cleveland. I mean, the worst math for me, it, it's just, it was such an amazing experience, you know. Being able to be around people with a similar background, being able to learn Hebrew. When I came here two years ago, I didn't even know how to read, you know, the Aleph base. Being able to understand Gemara and learn uh, our history, our past. And I think that's really what makes us special and what makes us so much different from everyone else. It's that we have this connection of Judaism. We have this rich and deep history behind us and this tradition and our family and our culture. And that's what brings us all here together today as brothers. Sometimes there are crossroad choices that a person makes. And the crossroad choice that you make, this applies in areas like who you choose to marry, what kind of job you decide to go into, who you choose to marry, uh, if you're going to stay in your shiva for longer, who you choose to marry, and other decisions in your life which are going to affect the rest of your life. And I don't think for a minute Seva has regretted it with all the challenges and all the forfeiting of the opportunities. I think that Seva is a sterling example of a person made the right decision in life and now he's going to reap the benefits and he, as it says, Kosetz et Hapiro, now you take in the harvest. Yes, Seva. Because Rosh Hashanah grant us Yadda de Shmaya and we should continue. Thanks so much for being here. This is a big day for me. It's uh, my first, hopefully, a good start for many more siyumim, yimir tzeh Hashem. But it's my first siyum And uh, I can't start 
the Sium without starting at the beginning. I was standing at the JCC in Omaha, Nebraska. All of a sudden, somebody drove up with a station wagon and he brought two boxes and said, I'm donating these books to the library. And then he dropped another box and he said, this book, this box, if you could just toss out for me. And I opened the box and I take out in an excellent condition, never used, full set Shas Bavli in Omaha, Nebraska. And that's how it started. The next stage is when we came to Israel and Rav Schiller invited me to join the staff at Or Sameach. And we had a conversation and the Rosh Hashiva said to me, if you're going to work in Or Sameach and live in Rehovos, there's no point in working for Or Sameach unless you're going to learn on the bus. And that left a very, very important mark on me. About three, four years ago, I said, okay, maybe it's time to start doing finishing shots. And that's what brought me to this day. This day wouldn't be as important or as special to me if it wasn't for my family. The reason that I learn is because of how important it is for them, how important it is to me. And most of all, I'm inspired and motivated by you, my students. I see how hard you work to connect yourself to the tradition, to the Torah Shabbat Peh, to understanding what the Kaddish Baruch Hu wants from us, that inspires me to keep going. It's a simcha for all of Klal Yisrael when anybody makes a CM of Shas, let alone somebody with dedication, talents, commitment, and biography of a Reb Gai, his mishpocha, have come with him the whole way. Shem Yitain, that the guy should be a lot of nachas, from continuing nachas, from your learning, the family, and the extended family of all Sameach. Mazel Tov. <laughs> Marbe Sivuno Marbe, Marbe Toko Marbe Shalom.